Hi, I've got absolutely nothing, nothing on my bench. Greetings, the Astro 30 here yet again, and I did not want to turn this into a ongoing saga with this Elliott Sound Products Guitar Preamplifier Project 27B. I did reach out to Rod Elliott directly the other day, and he did get back to me. I did bring up uh, my concerns with the master volume control not working correctly, and he can't understand why it shouldn't. He's never used a capacitor in line with any of the circuitry and he's built hundreds of these modules and so have other people and no one else has brought up this issue. He said if the pot is wired correctly then you shouldn't be experiencing any of the issues that you are experiencing. Which has led me to think of something really valid. Now, I don't know how well you can see that, but on the circuit board there, it says M1 and M2 for where you put the PCB pins. And I'm assuming that it means M1 is connected to where that yellow wire is, and M2 is connected where that white wire is. Can you see where this is going? And looking at the schematic for the hundredth time, M1 is the clockwise position of the volume control, and M2 is its wiper. I'm wondering if I've got these two wired backwards. And if it is wired backwards, I'm going to look like a complete and utter prat. Okay, and now to confirm that, all I really need to do is measure the clockwise position um, thing here on the pot. And on continuity check, I'll just touch pin 1 of U2. There's no continuity. The clockwise position is not going to pin 1 of U2 where it should be. I bet anything that M1 or the clockwise position is now actually going to pin 5 of the same IC. If it is, So, idiot! These two positions, I don't even need to test the center um, wiper position and confirm that these are backwards. M1 is supposed to be going to the clockwise position, going to pin 1 of U2, which is the output of the first op amp buffer. And M2, which is the wiper, should be going to pin 5, not the other way around. And just go across where this uh, negative of the capacitor is. It's indeed connected to pin 1, which it should not be. It should be connected to pin 5. So what I've gone and done is I've gone and assumed. I've assumed that it goes ground, center, outer. Never assume. This is the reason why it doesn't work. Thank you, Rod, for pointing out my stupidity. If the pot is wired correctly, the output can never jump from almost nothing to full output. So, I'm an idiot. Uh, rather than unsoldering wires, all I can do is just simply pop this connector off, pop each of those two pins out, and swap them around. Right, without making this video too long and boring, I'm just going to use the multimeter probe to get in there to push or try and unhook and push out that one and that actually hurts my fingers so I've made all this video about sodding about with a capacitor when I should have checked the obvious which was the physical first and check that I actually had the sodding wires connected in the sodding correct place. So now if I switch these two positions around, this control 
will now function correctly. That is, if I can get the wires in there. There we go. That's the connector fixed, so I'll just plug that back in. So I'm just going to double check that now M1 and M2 positions are now in the correct places. M1 should be off of pin 1 of U2. That goes to the clockwise position. That's the ground. Uh, hello. Okay, I've got no continuity. Oh, yes, I do. Right, so that is continuous. And that one should be pin 5. Which it is. I'm going to leave that capacitor in there. It's not actually needed. But that does actually fix the whole entire issue in the first place. Now, I haven't uploaded part 4 yet. But if you're watching this after part 4, which you probably are, don't assume anything. And you were probably screaming at the screen, check your wiring, check that you've wired the pot correctly. Let me show you how I actually did wire the pot. So I'll just draw it on paper because it's easier. So we've got our first op amp buffer, which is connected like that. What I've gone and done is if I move my big mitts out of the way, that goes to the rest of the circuit. I've gone and wired the pot's center, center wiper here to pin 1. Now that is then going into pin 5 of U2A. So as you can see from this uh, badly drawn schematic, that is not how a volume control is supposed to work. <laughs> Okay, I hope you guys appreciate all this because it does take quite a bit to set this up. Now, I've got everything connected. DSO is connected to the output. Master control is down to zero. Gain's up a little bit. Might give it a bit more. Uh, generator is connected across the uh, high input. Sorry, the low input. Got my, you know, whatever you want to call that there. Plug it in now. And there's no power. Okay, these connections in this plug, it's not a, not a good idea to do it this way. It's also very unsafe. Uh, I've actually got the active and neutral switched anyway. Let's try that. Still nothing. This is starting to piss me off. This stupid bloody plug. Can I just have some power, please? Can I please just have some power? Give me power. All the power. Power Rangers go. Well, that shit. Still not there. Yay, got power. All right, let's see what we get. Well, I'm on the wrong range for a start. What am I on, 500 millivolt? Yay, it's actually working as a volume control should. Isn't that, you know, funny? Unbelievable. All that wasted effort, so ignore part four, if you want to call it that. Look, it's actually functioning it's functioning as it should I am absolutely beside myself now because I didn't check one simple thing and that was my wiring So this can really put out some power. 
we're looking at around about 3.5 volt peak to peak. That's not bad. Um, I can in probably increase the gain now. But that is how that pot should be functioning. Have you ever had that point in your life where you feel like a complete idiot? Because that's how I feel now. That operation is so smooth and it's how it's supposed to work. I am just such a complete and utter idiot sometimes. But no need to feel down. I am human. I made an assumption and I made a mistake. We all do. I mean, I could do a sound test, but I don't see the point. But I'm going to anyway. Right, let's hear it. That's a gradual increase. Isn't that special? I am such an idiot and I feel completely stupid right now. Just drop the bass down on that. The bass is down on that. Ooh. Increase the bass on that. Ooh, that's a bit hot. Nice. Give it some high. That's probably my best rendition of that. I'm not going to go any further with that. So in conclusion, it's working correctly now and it is actually fixed correctly now because I made a wiring mistake. He pointed out in his article, I think in several places, don't contact him if it doesn't work because you made a wiring mistake, period, which I had. So I feel dumb. I also feel dumb for contacting him because, well, he pointed out the obvious that uh, if the pot's not wired correctly, it's not going to function correctly. Well, obviously it's not going to function correctly, because it didn't. Dumb mistakes happen. That's all I'm going to say is, dumb mistakes happen. I'm human. I didn't think. I just assumed that it was going in that order, ground, centre, uh, clockwise. It is not. Anyway, I'm the Astro30, and if you enjoy this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and you can always follow me on Facebook, link is in the description. And you can always become a Patreon supporter for as little as one dollar a day. I'd like some new Patrons please. Um, but it's up to you. There won't be a part six to this because it's now fixed. I may decide to put that game back to where it was by replacing that 10k with a 4k7 again just to bring the game back up. I don't really want to work the board too much. Because the more you solder and unsolder, it weakens the glue that bonds the copper to the clad, and it'll eventually lift the pad, so or pads and tracks. So I might want to just leave it alone as it is. There seems to be enough gain coming out of it as it is. So anyway, this is the Astro 30 saying, see ya. Thank you for watching. 
absolute moron. 